We continue now at the top of Daf Memtes Amid Beis and Maseches Baba Basra. This is Baba Basra Daf 49b. And the previous Amid, the Gemara said that during the time of Erisin, if a husband and wife are not yet married, so the husband can relinquish all of his rights to the Nechse Melug. And the idea is that the Nechse Melug is a Takana de Rabbon, and so before he's actually gotten it, he's able to relinquish those rights simply by saying, Dinu Devarim Ainli, that I have no legal right to that Nechse Melug, and that would be effective. And the Gemara says we see that from a statement of Rev Kahana, because Rev Kahana said, Nachalo if a person has an inheritance coming to him from some other place, it means to say essentially an inheritance that's midrabonan. So Adam Masna a person can make a tanai, he can make a condition that he shouldn't inherit it. If he does that ahead of time, that is going to affect that is going to be effective. He'll say Lo Yeheli Dinu Devarim, and that will be effective. Uchid Rav, it's like what Rava says. Diyama Rava, because Rava says, Kol Haomer Efshi Zos. Anybody who says that I don't want this takonas chachamim, which was done for my benefit, like the following case, which we'll explain in a moment. If you say that, Shomen Lo, so we listen to him, you're allowed to say that. The Gemara says, Maika Gon Zos, what do you mean, for example, this? And that's Kid Rav Huna Marav. It's like Rav Huna said that Rav said, Diyama Rav Huna Marav, because Rav Huna said that Rav said, Yechola Isha Shatomer Labalo, a wife can say to her husband, Eini Nizonis Veiniosa, that I don't want your support, and then I and then my earnings, I don't want to give my earnings to you, I want to keep my earnings. She's able to say that, because the entire Takana was made for her benefit. So if she doesn't want to have that Takana, she doesn't want to have the Mizono, so then she can keep her earnings as well. But the Gemara continues, Haraya Yesh, it sounds like from the Mishnah that a husband is not able to make a chazaka in his wife's property, let's say we're talking about Nechse Melug, but if he brings evidence, let's say he has a document, a shtar, something that proves that he bought the property from his wife, then that would be effective. And the Gemara asks, why would that be effective? Tema, she should be able to say, Nachas Ruach, Labali, I just did it to please my husband, meaning she should be able to claim my husband wanted to buy this property from me, I didn't really want to sell it to him, but I just didn't want to displease him, I didn't want to anger him, and so therefore I agreed to the sale, and she should be able to undo that sale with that argument. And the Gemara says, Milo Tanan, did we not learn in the Mishnah, this is from Masechah's Gittin, Lokach min ha'ish v'chazar v'lokach min ha'isha, let's say a person, he buys from the husband the rights to a certain property, but that property, there's also a lien on that property that it's going to pay off the ksuba to the wife should she collect her ksuba, meaning to say, let's say, for example, the husband divorces the wife, she's going to get that land as part of her ksuba, or let's say the husband dies before the wife, she's going to get that land as part of the ksuba. So now the buyer he not only wants to buy the land from the husband, but he also wants to buy that. He wa- he also wants to buy it from the wife in case she's going to collect the land because she has a lien on that property as part of her ksuba. He doesn't want her to collect. He wants to keep that land. So if he goes ahead and he buys the land from the husband and also buys the rights that the wife has to the land from her, the Mishnah says mechobatul. The Mishnah says that's not a good purchase because really she wasn't selling it. She wasn't serious about that sale because Alma, because we see Amr that she can say nachas ruach I just did it to please my husband. That was not an actual a real sale. I didn't mean it. And, and therefore, with that claim, she can undo the sale. The sale is no good. And so the same thing. Hachanami over here also, we should be able to say the same idea. Tema, she should be able to say when she sells the Nechse Maluk property to her husband, she should be able to claim Nachas Ruach Labali, that I was just doing it to please my husband. It was not a serious sale. And with that claim, she should be able to undo the sale. She should be able to render the sale invalid. And the Gemara answers to that, but it was stated on that, meaning with regard to this idea that a wife can say, there are some limitations. That applies by three particular kinds of fields, which are specifically designated for the Ksuba. The way it works is, in general, all of his property, all of the husband's property is designated for the Ksuba, but you might have some fields that are more designated towards the Ksuba than others. For example, Achas, one of them, for example, Shekasav he actually writes this particular piece of land into the ksuba that it's designated to pay her ksuba, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Nun Ahmed Aleph.